in this series of tutorials, we're going to be going on to one of my favourite subjects, spay casting. Very quickly, spay casting, taken from the River Spay in Scotland, in the upper reaches, just like we've got here. There's trees and bushes preventing us making an overhead cast. So they invented sort of different variations of the roll cast. You see, the roll cast doesn't require a back cast. We can just flick it out. But the problem with the roll cast is it only goes straight up and down. There's no change of direction. You can only make very slight changes of direction. Now, if the river's following that way and we want to cast over there to let the line swing, we've got to change direction. And that's what the group of spay casts is for. They are essentially change of direction roll casts. Before we start spay casting, I want to talk to you about when, why, how and, you know, in which situation we do it. I'm on this side of the river, not on that side of the river. The bank is on my left hand side. We call that the left bank. If I was stood on that side and fishing that way down, I'd be on the right bank. Now we have two different types of winds. We have a downstream wind and we have an upstream wind. And sometimes we have swirly winds that don't really know which way they're going. But we're only concerned about the downstream wind and the upstream wind. The objective of making a spay cast is to place our D loop on our casting shoulder there. In this case, on the upstream side on the left bank. But what if there's a strong downstream wind? What's gonna happen then? Let me try and sort of improvise it. What's gonna happen is the D loop's gonna get blown onto your casting shoulder and it's gonna cause a real problem. So in the event of us having a downstream wind on the left hand bank, we wanna place our D loop on the downstream side. In that scenario, we'd use what we call a double spay. This is an example of a double spay. There you go. It keeps the D loop on the downstream side so that the wind is always blowing it away from our casting shoulder, not onto our casting shoulder like this. So that's a basic explanation of when we use spay casts and why there are so many different variations. All these different variations are simply to enable us to fish on any side of the bank in any wind.